Now let's talk about snapping in Maya. So let's say I'm in the move tool and I want to snap this to the grid. There's a few ways to understand snapping to the grid. So I have these manipulators right here. This is going to snap to the grid. I can turn it on. I can snap to the grid anywhere I want to move. Use any of the, manip any of the manipulation handles to snap. But what I prefer to do, rather than using these, although these are not nice and handy, is just use key commands. So, when I'm snapping, I'll use different things like holding down the X key. So if I hold down the X key, it'll temporarily let me snap to the grid. If I release the X key and move, it's free form. Another one that's nice is holding J. So if I hit E and I'm in my move tool, excuse me, if I'm in my rotation tool and I hold J, I can snap to whatever my current settings are in that tool. Now, how do I change that set, the settings in that tool? So, I'm holding J now and you can see it's rotating 15 degrees here in my channel box and I want to be able to manipulate that. So I release J and I double click on my rotate tool. You can see I have lots of options and notice says here step size I'm unable to change it if I want to change it I can just turn on discrete view move and you'll notice it now sticks it gives me the same effect as holding the J key the difference is holding the J key is temporary where this is let's call more permanent but this way I can change my move size in discrete move to five degrees of rotation and now it's rotating five degrees. Notice the change in the channel box. Five degree rotations, which comes in quite handy. And I could turn it on or off just by holding J, just like I can hold the X key while hitting W. I can hit W and hold the X key and manipulate snapping to the grid. You'll also notice I have options in the move tool. You might want to experiment with some of these when you are trying to figure out what to do with each of the tools.